But yet, here you are, broken, divorced. I was a divorced mom through most of my kids' childhood and teen years. Dysfunctional. What was I showing them about love? You've got to be so in love with Jesus. He's got to be your soulmate. That's how you teach your kids how to love Jesus. He's got to be your priority so that he will then become their priority. You can't sit there with a beer in your hand and tell your kids not to drink. Or you can't sit there and smoke and tell your kids not to smoke. I told my kids, you can cuss when you hear mama cussing. So I told them. You can cuss when you hear me cuss. I failed my kids. They eventually heard me cuss. And then I'm like, okay, God forgive me. Y'all forgive me. I'm going to stop. And you're not going to hear it again. You can't tell your kids to do stuff when you're not doing it and living it yourself. You can't teach your kids or tell your kids to love Jesus if you don't love him. So, th that's my six points. Be who you want your kids to be. If you want your kids to be this person, then you need to go look in the mirror and see if you are the person you want your kids to be. If you're not, fix yourself. Fix yourself now. It's never too late. Even if your kids are adults and have their own children, it's never too late to be who you want people to see. You know, I told this young lady recently to write her own obituary. To write down what she wants people to say about her when she's dead and gone. And she's a young lady. When I look. So write down what you want people to remember you as. And then live up to it. I recommend everybody to sit down. Write your picture. And then be the person that you want people to remember you being. Love Jesus so your kids will know what love looks like. It's never too late. And that's all I got. That's the end. So we're going to close in prayer. Y'all please don't uh, call Delbert and ruin his Sunday complaining about me. Y'all wait till Monday. At least, okay. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and and thank you for putting me in front of the mirror. So I can see my failures. So I can change who I am for my family. Thank you for speaking to my heart and my life. Help me to be passionately in love with you, speaking your words and diving deeper into you so that when people see me, they do not see Alicia, they see you through. And as we go through this week, help each one of us to check ourselves and to look at our reflection. And to, if we don't see you in that mirror, help us to change our appearance in our souls. Be with us through this week. And as we encounter people, help us to follow these six principles to raise people for God. Amen.